Congresswoman AOC compares religious liberty advocates, so me, to white supremacists, slave owners, and segregationists. Take a listen. It's very difficult to sit here and listen to arguments in the long history of this country of using scripture and weaponizing and abusing scripture to justify bigotry. White supremacists have done it. Those who justified slavery did it. Those who fought against integration did it. And we're seeing it today. So let me get this straight. Americans like you and like me, who don't want our taxpayer money funding abortions, who don't want the government to force us to use transgender pronouns, who want the freedom to practice our faith in the workplace, are the same as slave owners and white supremacists? Apparently, that's what AOC thinks. Meanwhile, AOC tries to use the Bible to justify her socialism. Watch this. And it is part of my faith that all people are holy and all people are sacred unconditionally. And that is what makes faith sometimes, that's what, what prompts us to transform because it is unconditional. It's not about that it is up to us to love parts of people. We love all people. It's part of my faith, she says, that all people are holy, all people are sacred unconditionally. Except the unborn Congresswoman, you can't pick and choose. But that's not all, AOC kept going, take a listen. There is nothing holy about rejecting medical care of people, no matter who they are on the grounds of what their identity is. There is nothing holy about turning someone away from a hospital. There's nothing holy about, about rejecting a child from a family. There's nothing holy, she says, about rejecting medical care of people, no matter who they are. Then, Congresswoman, why deny medical care to babies born alive after botched abortions? 41 Democratic senators last week voted against giving medical care to babies born alive after botched abortions. Born alive. And yet the Congresswoman doesn't support medical care for them.